coach yeah. game. How does losing all conference their team for Natalie St. Martin affect the Bulldogs in the front end, and who's going to be stepping up for UND and drive the offense? Good question. Um, you know, Natalie brought a real dynamic to our attack. Um, she wasn't a significant scorer, but she was a significant threat, and she did imbalance, uh, you know, back lines often. Um, we'll have a bit more balance in our approach this year, maybe not depending on that th threat, mm -hmm. but hopefully um, be able to have a little bit more uh, traditional or um, maybe uh, direct, you know, style of approach. Um, you know, with our attack, we have uh, Logan Nash, a returning fifth-year senior, um, who will, you know, be responsible for, and we'll be looking to take on some of that responsibility that uh, Natalie would have taken on last year. But I think um, by committee will be probably the order of the day. UMD gave up 185 shots in total last season. How does losing all-conference defender Erica Hurt? An all-conference honorable mention defender Lizzie Fontes impact how the defense and the defensive end will be played, and how who do you look to step up and play with? Sure. Uh, well, we lost you know a number of starting you know players around the field. Of course, our back line um, with those two, and then and then two senior goalkeepers. You have to add in there, and um, you know it's it's uh, all players evolve. We have players that are waiting for their opportunity at UMD. So I think that that will um, prove to be the case. Maddie Milbreth played in the middle last year with Erica, and she'll probably be there again this year, maybe with a new partner, a, a, a junior, Shannon King, a sophomore, Kirsten Daigle. Um, those are likely players to be in those, in those spots. We have good depth on the outside. Michaela Akinto is a player to watch. Um, you know, for us this year, she's right back, and she's been a starter ever since she's been a freshman. So um, I think the quality is there for us to be able to uh, get ourselves where we're managing 10 or less shots, you know, on goal per game. Okay. Uh, you lose not only one, but two senior goalies in Sicily and Carly. Um, they played a combined 49 games of possible, sorry, excuse me, they played 69 games with possible 74. How does losing that much experience affect the team, and who do you look to fill that goalkeeper role? Well, Cicely primarily, I mean, she carried, you know, most of those games. Um, and, you know, she was a unique player, and, and uh, you can't replace, you know, a, a personality like her in your team. So she actually brought um, something unique to our team that had an impact off the field. Again, you know, there's, there's uh, new players, there's returning players. Um, personalities emerge when, when some leave. And uh, we have some uh, new characters in our in our group, but um, you know we have uh, a, three goalkeepers in camp right now who have all proved that they can play uh, and play at this level. So it's a matter of them competing to see who will emerge um, between Jackie, the first year player, um, Becca, the now third year player. Who hasn't uh, you know played in a game yet? So obviously she's you know probably uh, pining to play, and then um, Sophia, who's uh, a second-year college player. So I, I think they all have the caliber. Um, I think we'll be ready with a good choice. The NSIC preseason poll has UMD pitted to finish eighth this year. What are the Bulldogs going to do to try and finish higher up in the standings? Uh, well, we want to get three points from games. Um, if you want to be better than eighth, you have to be getting three points from games and not one. Um, that being said, play, uh, playoff uh, opportunity is what this team is, you know, shooting for. And uh, in our league, eighth place uh, usually is decided on the last day of the year. So, quite honestly, um, like often fourth through twelfth place are decided on the last day of the year. So um, it could end up being eight, could end up being twelve, it could end up being four, but um, you know we'll we'll try and get ourselves there in a playoff and and then see what happens. Okay. You had a large freshman class here last year with eleven. This year you see ten freshmen come in. What kind of collective development did you see from that freshman class last year, and what does having such a big underclass group mean for the program? Well, you know. Anytime you have classes that 
continue to go through. That's, I think, a sign of a mature program. It's a sign of a program where players really value their experience. And that's what we're, we're in a, a strong period right now of that, of players sticking with it, um, maybe not being, you know, starters or even significant players in their first or second year, yet they're continuing into their junior and senior year. And that's what we're seeing in, in our program right now. And um, it's very valuable to have players who understand what the commitment is and maybe have had to work extremely hard and long uh, period of time to get their opportunity to play. And I think that raises the value they put on their experience. And I think that that um, you know, helps the team in, in an overall performance.